Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be covering what is relational calculus and then I will explain what is tuple relational calculus and domain relational calculus. Guys, I have uploaded complete ABMS subject tutorials. I will provide a link in the description you can watch from there. If you are watching this video for the first time, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Let's get started. At first, I will explain what is relational calculus. Relational calculus is a query language used in DBMS to specify what data we want to retrieve from a relational databases. Guys, this relational calculus is nothing but it is a query language. Query is nothing but question. For example, we will question to our relational database like select a name of the student whose rule number is 21. It is nothing but a question. So relational calculus is a query language. By using this query language, we can question to our database like what data you want to retrieve from a table. This relational calculus is a non procedural query language that focuses only on what to do and not how to do it. For example, if you consider relational algebra, relational algebra is a procedural query language. Procedural query language means it will focus both on what to do and as well as how to do it. But whereas relational calculus is a non procedural query language, that means it focuses only on what to do and it will not specify how to do it. I'll give an example, a simple example. For example, there is student table. Now I want to select complete record of student whose rule number is 21. So for that purpose, I need to write this relational algebra operation that is select. The sigma stands for select. Select rule number equal to 21 from student table. So whenever you perform this operation, I'll get output. It will display complete record of student whose rule number is 21. So I'll get output names i rule number 21. Here what I want to do is. I want to select complete record of student whose rule number is 21. And how can we do it? We can do it by using selection operator, the sigma symbol. This is relational algebra operation. So in relational algebra operation, we specify what to do and as well as how to do it. How to do it is nothing but we will give procedure in order to find above query. So we call relational algebra as procedural query language. And whereas in relational calculus, we will focus only on what to do and we will not focus on how to do. So we call this relational calculus as non procedural query language. That means we will not give any procedure to solve above query. So it is a non procedural query language that focuses only on what to do and not how to do it. It will not describe about how query will work or how data will be fetched. Just it will explain what to do. That's it. There are two forms of relational calculus. They are tuple relational calculus and domain relational calculus. At first I will explain what is tuple relational calculus. Guys, tuple is nothing but row or we also call tuple as record. Tuple relational calculus is a non procedural query language that is used to retrieve data from relational databases. If you want to retrieve data from tables, then you can use tuple relational calculus. It is used for selecting tuples in a relation if certain condition is true. These conditions are based on values present in rows of database table. Guys, I will give an example so that you can clearly understand what is this tuple relational calculus. This is syntax of tuple relational calculus where t stands for tuple, write here bar and write here condition of t, where t stands for tuple and condition of t is nothing but here we need to give condition in order to select tuples and we need to represent this in curly braces. For example, there is strange table, strange table contains this information. Now I want to select complete records of students whose age is greater than 20. Guys here Ramesh age is 21. Suresh age is 22 and Rajesh age is 23. Now we need to select this entire three records as output. Guys, just remember that this tuple relational calculus will select entire tuple as output. Entire tuple is nothing but it will select entire record as output. So it will display name, age and as well as grade of these three students, Ramesh, Suresh and Rajesh. Now I will write relational calculus query for this. This is relational calculus query. So open curly braces. Inside curly braces at first I written is. S is nothing but we are selecting complete tuples. So just I written here S. Guys, tuples are nothing but rows. Bar. From which table we are selecting? From strange table we are selecting complete tuples. So just I written here strange of S. Where your strange is table name. And here we need to give condition. I don't want to select complete tuples. I want to select only tuples whose age is greater than 20. So just I written here H dot H greater than 20. So it will select complete tuples of students whose age is greater than 20. This is my output. This is known as tuple relational calculus. 
if you want to select complete record that is if you want to select complete tuples from table based on certain condition then you can use tuple relational calculus tuple variables are classified into two types they are free variables and next one is bounded variables variables which do not contains for all and they exist in condition is known as free variables and tuple variables with for all and their exist in condition is known as bounded variables and next i will explain what is domain relational calculus whereas tuple mean rows or records and whereas domain mean columns i don't want to select complete record just i want to select name column so for that purpose you can use domain relational calculus domain relational calculus is same like tuple relational calculus here we will select columns from a table based on condition it is also a non provisional query language that mean it focus only on what to do and not how to do it in domain relational calculus we will apply condition on columns not on tuples this is index inside curly braces you need to select columns and you need to give condition for columns so c1 c2 c3 so on c n are columns and whereas f of c1 c2 c3 so on c n is condition guys same example i don't want to select complete record just i want to select name column just i want to select name column of students whose age is greater than 20 where here is stands for tuple so instead of writing s you need to write here name dot s name dot s that mean i want to select only name column this is domain relational calculus query and this is my output for example i want to select only grade column so just in place of writing name just write here grade 